fantasy Caught in a landslide No escape from reality Hey guys, how's it going? Underground Geek here. So I got a different kind of comic book that I want to talk about today. Um, I generally don't talk about these kind of comic books, but somebody had uh, commented about maybe doing a video on this book. And then when I went to the comic book store, the only one they had was number one. And I was like, perfect. You know, I'll, I'll get it and start at the beginning. And uh, so this is called Rose. And uh, if you look at it, it basically looks like He-Man. It's got the big cat, it's got the girl, it's like She-Ra, but He-Man style. And the cover has got the glossy, shiny little look to it. <clears throat> now, then you've got the regular cover. I don't know why they always do that, but it's still got the regular cover here. And uh, you've got a nice little letter here talking about the story of the book. And then she's got, look at that, she actually put... That's a big deal. She actually put, God bless you. Hmm. That's kind of a big deal nowadays. So, basically we get started here and you're in this fantasy land. And what has happened is you had these three guardians, okay? You had one that was temperance, one that was justice, and one that was courage. And they each had like a guardian cat with them. You had the panther... Well, it's really a panther, but it's like a jaguar panther. I don't think it's the same cat here. It's like a, a you know a black panther with the spots. Then you had a lion, and you had a tiger. Okay. And and uh, but then the bad guys started to show up, and the cats with a K that they call them disappeared. Something happened to them. So then the bad guys showed up. And I didn't know these were the bad guys. I thought that they were fighting the bad guys. But these are the bad guys right here. So they show up and pretty much start killing anybody that can use magic. And uh, so people are actually dyeing their kids' hair different colors because I guess their power manifests and makes their hair white. Kind of like her hair is a different color. Um, so they have to cover it up because they're killing them all. And so, um, this is kind of like Rose when she was a kid, they're running away, everybody's trying to kill everybody, and she just happens to get away, you know, and then this is another, this is another one that didn't get away, that got killed. And then we cut to, um, Rose, and she's now, uh, it's 10 years later, so I would say she's probably around, I don't know, she looks she doesn't look that young, but I would say, you know, not that old, because if she was a baby then, I don't know, it's hard to judge. She looks like she's about 18, but I'm not sure. Um, but her mom gives her a present. It's a rose that her father gave the, the her mother, and uh, so she's given it to her, and she's also given her a new totem necklace, and the necklace kind of like hides your magic ability and makes it where you can't use it. And uh, so that's what she give her. And at the same time, Rose is still trying to use her magic. She's still concentrating trying to do it. So this is very dangerous because they'll be able to find her if she starts using her magic. But I don't really know why she's using it if she's got the necklace that keeps her from being able to use it. Which I think she took it off right there. So that makes sense now. But... Uh, so she's still trying to get it to work. And this is a weird, that's weird art right there. I would have took the double chin out. But, uh, so it doesn't work. She gets frustrated. And that's, this is pretty good art right here. This is, I like this one. You know, it, it, it kind of comes and goes. Sometimes it's really good, you know. Sometimes it's not so good. <laughs> but basically, she's trying to use her magic. And then when she's on her way home, she realizes that it's caught up to her. Her house is on fire. The village is burning. So she goes to try to save her mother. And so, uh, long story short, her mom does not make it. Okay. And, uh, but here's the thing. She cries on her mother. She has the rose with her. And look at the rose. It's not, it's, you know, it's old. 
But when she cries on it, it blooms and becomes new again. And then that's when it happens. Something is happening. It almost feels like the labyrinth, the way that they do that little cut scene. And now, this is the city of Venta Belgorum. And uh, now we're meeting the villain, okay? And uh, she's standing here, or she's sitting here on her throne. Someone's trying to plead with her about, hey, you know, people are dying, the sickness, the plague. And it's all because of her. She's brought the sickness and this plague here because of her evil magic. And it's killing everyone, and they, they're not going to survive. But that's when the guard shows up and uh, basically starts making fun of her. And then um, at that point, that's when the... Uh, the ruler or whatever she is tells one of her underlings to go kill that lady because she's tired of her and that's when we meet our, our villain here and uh she's looking very john carterish she's got her little slaves around her and uh she kind of reminds me of uh the evil queen on um snow white and the huntsman Reminds me very much of that. So she, he has failed her with finding the magic user. She punishes him using some kind of mind. Uh, you know, I don't. It's, she does something with her magic that puts him in a lot of pain. And so, uh, basically, then we find out that she's quite an evil person. So Rose is now on her own. She's on the run. And uh, she doesn't make it very far on her own before she's met up with a group of pretty much bandits. I wouldn't really call them mean bandits, but they're like rebels. And they think that she's a bad guy. Well, I call her Granny Goodness. Granny Goodness shows up and quickly nips that in the bud. And uh, basically takes the girl in, smacks the guy on the head. And starts bandaging her wounds where she had gotten burned. And then starts talking to her about her magic. <clears throat> and uh, at that point, uh, the uh, little bandit like interrupts them. And she says, wait, it was you. You're the rebels. You brought the queen's guard here. You burned my house down and killed my mother. And that's when she says, we are survivors like you, Rose. We did not burn your village. We did not kill your mother. But we can help you find those who did. Because, you know, it's not their fault that they wanted to survive. And that they got caught up in the middle. This evil person is the one doing this. Not them. And so, from there, we find out what has happened to the Guardians. She has actually corrupted them. And turned them into her own personal little golems. And she's about to send them after her. So that's pretty much where we end. And then we got issue number two coming out. The story is by Meredith Finch. She's even got her, uh, I think that's her Twitter and her uh, website on there. And then you've got the art by Iga Gora. Uh, the colors by Triana Farrell. And the letters by Cardinal Ray. And the editing is by Andy Schmidt. So there, there seem like a lot of foreign people. Uh, so maybe they're European. Maybe this story, that's where it comes from. Uh, but uh, it's I think it's a pretty fun little story. It was kind of entertaining and there wasn't even really that much action But it felt like a fantasy story like uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. So I appreciated it. And it's got pretty good art. I think I Like it um, I really like the the hero. I really like the villain and uh, I like the aspect of this good and evil with magic. That's very entertaining to me so I think it'll be very fun. And it, it reminds me a lot of like, almost like a Jim Henson, but not. Because it has, you know, the little, the, the, the cool little characters. And that's something that another person was talking about in their videos. When you design a character, you need to design the character to stand out specifically. I mean, look at that lady. Nobody else in the book looks like her. You know, that's her. Exactly. Look at these dudes back here. Nobody in the book looks like these three dudes. Okay. And then you've got the main character. She stands out with her hair. You automatically know it's her. 
And then when you go into the book <clears throat> with the villain, you know this is the villain. Like, look at her. There's no way you're going to confuse this with anybody else. So, definitely. Definitely a good idea to do that design. I really like it. Um, and th they just do such a good job with the art that it really captures the story. You've got this background here of the Queen's Castle. You got this nice little throne room here. Not nothing crazy, but I mean it gets the the image across. And uh, so I'm excited to see what happens in issue two. I'm going to check it out. Um, I hope you liked the video. I'm going to do some more videos later on. I still got to do my appreciation videos. I've been slacking on those, and I'm trying to get them done. But I just started my new job, and it's very hectic. Like I cannot do this stuff at work. It's just I'm way too busy. So I'm going to try to do these as best as I can. My internet is super slow at home right now. It took me like all day to upload a Batman video because it just kept hanging up on me. So I'm going to do my best to try to do this. Also on a side note, um, Twitter has now flagged my account on that video about the F1 girls, F1 grid girls. So now I have a strike and the appeal did not go through and I cannot do live streams until May because YouTube are Nazis. Now, at the same time, I do have a bit shoot. So if you want to go on bitshoot.com and look for uh, Underground Geek, I'm on there as well, and you can watch the videos. That original video is still on there because bitshoot is not Nazis like YouTube. They even saw the video where I had reposted it and said, hey, this got flagged for hate speech. Bitshoot found it and then retweeted it <laughs> because they don't care. Honey Badger don't care. But I hope you liked this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Underground Geek out. I wish I knew you when I was young.